Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paula Watchman on the Wall in Northern California with my beautiful wife, Carol Maxie. Good evening, everybody. We're actually eating dinner right now, but this broke. And so I want to get this up. I'm going to study this. If you know anything about what I'm about to show you concerning this executive order, please post information in the comments. Please help us share this as we're in some type of media blackout and they're trying to silence the Christians. Please do your part in helping us to share this message I'm about to show you, part one, by liking it and uh, stuff like that. Sub consider subscribing. So, a, an, an amendment to an executive order that I mentioned. So I mentioned this exa exact executive order uh, just a, a couple weeks ago or less, I believe. And, and just tonight, I'm talking September 13th, 2021, just tonight, just recently within the half hour, President Trump has issued uh, an amendment via the White House Presidential Action Seconds. I'm on whitehouse.gov. And he's amending this executive order 139959. So let, let me show you what I've shown. This is the actual letter. And, and, and it says right here, it's sent to the Speaker of the House. And it's also sent to the President, what's called the President, right here. The President of the Senate. So this letter is addressed to the President of the Senate and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. And I I read in here that, because I'd never heard of the President of the Senate anymore, what it means is, it says the current President is Daryl Bradley. And I believe this information is important. With Carla Barnett as Vice President. It says, what is the role of the President? President of the Senate. So this is one of the people the letters written to just a half hour ago, breaking out of the White House. The President of the Senate's role in the legislative process, the Vice President presides over the Senate only on ceremonial occasions or when a tie-breaking vote may be needed when the Vice President is absent. So the only time he would really become involved, for what I'm understanding this, just from briefly reading this, is, is when the vice president wasn't going to vote on this. So where is Mike Pence? And who is vice president right now? Isn't this really odd? And so it goes on to say, pursuant, see right here, dear Madam Speaker and dear Mr. President. This is to the president of the Senate I just showed you. It says, pursuant to the International Emergency Economic Powers Act, which is IEEPA, and he mentioned these sections and stuff, uh, 301 of Title III, United States Code. I hereby report that I have issued an executive order. Now, here's what he's doing. He's issued an executive order taking further steps to deal with the threat posed by the public's, uh, People's Republic of China. Increasing exploitation of United States capital to resource and to enable the development with its modernization of its military, intelligence, and other security apparatuses. So what's interesting when you come in here and you, and you go to learn more about this, he says right here, look, this is the amendment. This is the amendment, the executive order on amending this. It says, addressing the threat from security investments that finance communist Chinese military companies. So this is targeting Chinese military companies. So he comes in right here and listen to what he says here. Just tonight, right here, January 13. Listen to what he says. I believe that something is starting. I do believe there's another stand to take place. I don't believe this is all over. I really don't. I wish it was all over. Can I get an amen on that? Amen. <laughs> I, Donald J. Trump, President of the United States of America. Oh, so he's writing this tonight. He says, right, in order to take additional steps, 
So in other words, he's making an executive order with seven days left in his presidency where he's taking additional steps against Chinese military. And he's going to use money to do it. By what money they can receive, and, and this is going to affect stock markets and all kinds of stuff. So he's taking additional steps with respect to with respect to what the national emergency declared. Remember this whole setup, the national emergency that who declared Donald Trump? He just amended the executive order on the national emergency declaration in Executive Order One Three Nine Five Nine of January 12, 2020. And that was addressing the threat from security investments that finance communist Chinese military companies to address the threat posed by the People's Republic of China's military industrial complex, hereby orders as followed. I'll put a link to this in the description box. This is sounding like some war with China type stuff. What do you think? It doesn't sound like Trump's done signing papers yet either, does it? I found, uh, quickly close this video. Here's another couple ways to contact me if YouTube brings my channel down. I'm on Rumble. Right here, haven't uploaded any videos yet, but I'm on Rumble. Um, I'll put a link to this in my description box. Also, my Gab is up and running now too. So I'm Minister Paul, at Minister Paul on rumble so i got gab and rumble and uh god bless you let's keep an eye on this i'm going to study more so if you have any idea on legal speak of what exactly trump is trying to say here and what he just amended and what does that lead to please let us know in the comments uh show us your brilliance brilliance